Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is David and today I'm going to do an unboxing of Huawei's MateBook X Pro and show you how to connect it to the Razer Core via Thunderbolt 3. This is very interesting because then you can run AAA titles on this laptop. Please subscribe to my channel. So let's continue and do the unboxing. Let's open up the package and see what's inside. We are greeted by the laptop itself. Let's put it at the side and check uh, what else in the box. This big uh, package is uh, okay. It's uh, a uh, USB Type C dock. That has HDMI and VGA and a USB Type C, and uh, on the other side, a USB Type A uh, port. Let's put that at the side and uh, check uh, the rest. Here is a uh, USB Type C cable, both ends, of course. <coughs> and uh, the rest of the things in the box is uh, just some. Uh, startup guides. Put that to the side and check the last uh, box. So that uh, obviously is the charger. A very small charger <laughs> if you compare it to the box. Yeah, very, very small, and uh, this is nice to have with you on traveling. So uh, let's check. Uh, there's either it's a USB Type C, and uh, here you have the the output, as you can see on the screen. Let's speed up the rest of the unboxing. So here we have the device. It uh, feels very premium in the hand. As you can see on the bottom, we have uh, eight uh, torque uh, T6 screws. And here you can see the logo that shows that we have a uh, dedicated GPU on the device. So you can see we have two front firing speakers. A lot of traveling keys, but uh, feels very nice. And the trackpad uh, is also very tactile, nice. So, time to power up the device. Nothing happens. The battery is completely discharged. So, let's move on to the connection to the uh, eGPU, my Razer Core. So, Yes, let's take a look around the device. Here you can see 3.5 mm headphone jack and uh, one USB Type-C port, a Gen 1 for charging. And this is the Thunderbolt 3 port. Uh, uh, also, you can also use to charge the device. Nothing on the back side. So here is the slot where you where the system releases the hot air from the chassis. And on this side we have a USB Type-A port, uh, it's a USB 3.0, so it's uh, also for power out. And uh, this is the bottom firing speakers. So let's do the connection to the Razer Core. You can see the fingerprint reader is really fast. And uh, this is the Razer Core, it's an external graphic docking station. So uh, you can see it's uh, connected via Thunderbolt 3 cable and uh, inside the uh, Razer Core I have a Gigabyte GTX 1080. So uh, let's connect the device. It's uh, only this thin cable that is needed. And uh, open the device manager so we can see uh, what happens. Uh, we need to do some action there also. So uh, 
Let's zoom in so we can see what happens. And here you can see the two internal graphics. It's uh, one Intel USG 620 and one NVIDIA GTX uh, MX uh, 1050. So it's not GTX, it's uh, MX. So uh, here you can see I got a message, a new Thunderbolt device has been attached. So uh, then we have to open up the Thunderbolt uh, interface and uh, choose uh, approve attached devices on port one. And when we got the question if we really want to do this and uh, just answer yes on that question. And uh, we have another uh, uh, pop-up window uh, where you have to choose raise a core and uh, connect or not connect. I always uh, use always connect because uh, then it's uh, automatically starting the graphic dock whenever you put in the cable. And uh, that via that cable it, it also charge the device. So now you can see uh, we have a Microsoft basic display adapter. It's an generic uh, adapter. And uh, this one we have to uh, uh, choose update drivers. And uh, automatically search for uh, driver updates. So this will take uh, quite a long time. It takes around uh, 10 minutes or so. It's a large uh, package uh, directly from, uh, from NVIDIA. So it's uh, around 600 uh, megabytes. So now you can see the 1080 is connected. And the pop-up uh, panel here says you have to restart the computer. And uh, that is what we are going to do. So I'll zoom out a bit so we can see the connection. I have uh, uh, my uh, large monitor here uh, connected to uh, the Razer core and you can see immediately at startup uh, you can see uh, that it is connected. So that was quite easy. Uh, sometimes you have to connect and uh, reconnect the cable before it works completely. And here you can see from distance uh, the system and I have another monitor also connected via HDMI and here you can see the complete setup and um, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, please uh, leave questions in the comments uh, below and thank you for watching see you in the next video thank you bye bye